Tony Callahan refuses to live in the shadows. He's come back to the Tunisian hotel where he and his wife were almost killed in June's terror attack. He felt he had to make this journey to say thanks to those who saved so many and to confront his trauma. Gamez. Same here. Yeah, I'm really happy when yeah, see you. so good to see you again. He begins by reliving that day. I heard two shots going over my, my head. Uh, you hear the very sort of distinct whistle type of, of noise. He retraces the route he fled, trying to escape the gunman. You could hear people being uh, injured, you could, you know, the, the, the screams, but it's just that, that gunfire. As the gunman closed in, Tony and his wife Christine and others ran into this dead-end corridor. And the gunman was at the end of the corridor. It was that close? And he, he, was, he was firing at us, and all we could do was, you know, we just run for our lives. So I'm, I remember getting hit maybe about here in my left uh, calf. My wife was right behind me, we were running down here. And um, this was our last opportunity to take cover. Six people, including Tony, managed to break into this room. But as they barricaded the door, he realised his wife, who'd been shot, was on the other side. I was trying to get Chris's attention, who by this time was shouting that she'd been shot. I feel, oh, so sorry for those that, you know, were lying out in that corridor dead. Those poor people, they, you know, they were in there just in the swimwear. This was Tony and Christine after the attack in the Tunisian hospital where they were treated. In the months since, she's had four operations. <laughs> He's now back to say thanks to the doctor and staff who saved Christine's life. Oh, thank, gosh, you for nice. back. thank you for looking after us so well. They've put a banner up to welcome him. Tony and Christine have raised £3,000 for the hospital. On my journey of recovery, this was something that needed to be done. Uh, you'll appreciate there was so much negativity of that day and that surrounded it. And this, to me, was a step forward. Back on the hotel beach, we hear from the Tunisians who've also been affected. The tourist industry has been all but destroyed, as unemployed water instructor Jihad Hassan tells Tony. Yeah, I'm very angry and I'm sad too, because uh, he wanted to destroy Tunisia. It's not good. Not only has it, this gunman caused the, the misery that he has caused with all those deaths and injuries, but then he's affected his own people, the, the own Tunisian people, who have now lost their jobs. The hotel's owner says she fears the attack's economic legacy will only strengthen the extremists. He wanted to destroy all the economy in Tunisia and um, he wanted to make uh, people uh, poor and to uh, attract them uh, to, to do terrorism. And you think that could happen because people Probably. have no jobs, yes. no money? Yes. At the memorial in the hotel grounds, a chance to remember those who never came home from holiday. Time may pass and fade away, but memories of you will always stay. You will not be forgotten. Neil Connery, News at 10, Seuss, Tunisia.